So this is wonky comb. It's when bees build uneven or oddly shaped comb. Sometimes I don't mind wonky comb up in the honey box, but uneven comb in a lower brood box where the majority of the bees live in can make hive inspections a lot trickier. And sometimes it's not easy to fix it. Cutting or moving comb can damage or even kill the baby bees developing in the cells. So there's a much higher chance of wonky comb forming in foundationless frames than in frames with a sturdy foundation. So when I saw that Flowhive didn't include foundation in the brood box, especially for a hive that cost around $1,200, I was a bit disappointed. They do provide an insert where you can add foundation, so I went ahead and bought my own for better support. And if you're wondering why Flowhive doesn't provide foundation with their kit, they do give some reasons. Generally, they say it's about keeping things natural, but they also use some non-factual reasons to justify it. To me, it just seems like they're trying to save money. Now, there are a lot of different philosophies when it comes to beekeeping. Every beekeeper has their own, and that's part of what makes this hobby or profession so interesting. So Cedar, Flowhive's founder, has stated he prefers to keep things perfectly natural in the brood box, which to me seems odd considering all the plastic right above it in the Flowhive's honey super. So bees have existed for millions of years, but our relationship with honeybees goes back only thousands. Over time, we've made adjustments to help bees thrive, and using foundation is one of those changes. As a beekeeper, I don't believe everything should be left completely natural. Bees today face a lot of threats. Habitat loss, pesticides, diseases, and parasites like the destructive varroa mite. So my beekeeping philosophy is not about messing with nature, but rather about supporting it to make sure our bees can thrive in a world that's far different from the one they evolved in. So while I agree that we should keep many parts of beekeeping as natural as possible, using a sturdy foundation in a brood box can actually help. With over 12 years of experience, I found it makes hive inspections smoother and safer. Now, some foundations are plastic, and you might think the plastic would bother the bees, but the truth is, when it's coated with a good layer of beeswax, the bees don't actually come into contact with the plastic itself. So Flowhive also states that when you give bees the choice, they will always choose empty frames where they can build natural comb over frames with a foundation. But that's not always true, especially when a frame has a good layer of beeswax. The familiar wax base encourages bees to build comb, which saves them time and energy. Because bees need to eat around 6 to 8 pounds of honey to produce just 1 pound of beeswax. Another claim from Flowhive is that using foundation prevents bees from making male bees, but that's not accurate. A foundation doesn't restrict the bees' ability to build different cell types. They can still easily build cells for female worker bees, male bees, honey, or even queen cells if they need to. So am I saying foundationless frames are bad? No, not at all. If foundationless beekeeping works for you, that's great. I just want to highlight some of the risks. With Flowhive, I do wish they'd do more research on actual bee behavior and not rely on non-factual claims to justify their choices around foundation.